Hello and welcome back to the workshop. It's glue up day on this massive frame. I've had the dentist this morning, so uh, I mean that mouth's a bit uh, wibbly 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 wibbly. I've just been around drilling some six mil holes in the joint locations so I can screw this frame together when I got the glue on and clamped. I could put a couple of screws in to help pull them joints together. Just got the last ones to do uh, where this uh, side light meets the open doorway. And I've got to just pellet them in here in these finished faces so that I can uh, fill it nicely and it'll all be hidden. So I'm just going to put one in that moulding section there, hopefully my drill bit's long enough to guide it. Then drill a pilot hole through or a countable hole. What we want to avoid is trying to dent that timber at all. When I put the pellet in or fill it, you can sand it back nice and flush and just spot prime that area and flat it back to a similar finish to the rest of it really easily. Now uh, fixing should be nicely hidden behind that pellet hole. The idea is the clamps can go in the gap I've left there. So I'm just gonna leave about an inch between them. Let's fill it out. Assemble the frame over the top of it. Uh, they can clamp from underneath without having to lift the frame up or anything. Oh, actually, I'm getting carried away here. Um, did speak with the client about putting some radius edges on the outer side of this frame. Um, and then you've, it's like a V groove, so it creates a V groove at any joints between any bits of timbers. And you can fill that with a flexible sealant, it seals the joint a lot better than having like a flush glued joint that's sanded and painted because any slight movement cracks the joint open and the water gets straight into the joint, which is how things rot prematurely. All right, so I need a clamp that's long enough to do the entire frame. So I'm just gonna join these two that's long enough the free space yet. So just using some bolts on these sash clamps to clamp them together. I think I mentioned it before. And I can sit them in that slot. And that gives me a clamp ready to go underneath the door frame, which is the tricky bit with this one. That can sit there ready to go. Put it down there. This glue up's been uh, baking my noodle a little bit of how to get all of it glued together because it's kind of, you've got to put these ones into the transom first, then put uh, all the glazing bars and all these rails in to slide the jam on, the outer jam, to get the head on. So it's kind of all got to go together at once if you're going to do a big glue up. So what I plan to do is use PU glue so that it sets nice and fast and it's the best glue for this anyway and just glue the uh, door jams together. So I've got basically the transom glued into the door jam uprights. Make sure they're nice and square at this joint here and here. And once I've got that assembled, I can, and the glue's gone off, take out the clamps, then uh, glue each side on. So glue these glazing bars, rails, and this jam onto each side and clamp it, you know, with smaller clamps to each other. Got time to fettle these so they all sit nicely. And then once that's all dried and gone off, I can attach these top rails and the head on and clamp that all through. So here we go, let glue up commence. I've cut a board to fit between the rebates, a tight fit on the width with a square end cut on my saw. And that's gonna give me nice square uh, door jams versus this transom, just to square everything up because I've not got loads of stuff to reference on. Of course, got the legendary 
backing soundtrack of The Grinder. A fair bit of glue to clean up and be a bit messy yet. Yeah? God, I'm not gluing the whole thing together, it's starting to set already. Well, not set, it's fine enough. Beautiful. It's actually sitting beautifully square. With that board, so chuffed to bits with that. It's come that joint spot on. So we'll look, wait for that to go off for a little bit. And we'll start uh, lobbing these sides in. I'm just going to use a little bit of IPA solvent to take the bulk of that squeeze out the moulding so I'm not chiselling too much uh, glue away and damaging my paint finish. But I'm not going to go too mad because once this IPA has got into that water based paint, it will start melting it. So just get one hit at this. i describe the IPA on the PU a bit like. Um, water would be to tight bond still get a residue where you've wiped it over but it gets the bulk off well it started off pretty well couldn't really hope for a better joint than that that ipa cleaner is superb on the pu glue so i'll come back in a few minutes and we'll get these bits glued in because i want to get a really accurate screw into this shoulder here on this rail Drilling it from this side through the rail. The drill bit's not long enough to go all the way through, so I'm going to wind the screw through as deep as the drill will go. Then once that pokes out the other side, that's the centre mark for my drill bit to drill back in the other direction. And I've got myself a pilot hole. Of this side. Still right. It's just easy when you get the right technique. This would have been a gift. Oh, it looks stunning. It looks Stunning. It's in a pilot drill. These screws. Six mil screws are the boy. Funny job. Nice. First glue this bit together. I had a cup of tea while the glue went off in the centre section and I dusted all these joints down with the airline just before I went for a cup of tea so it could uh, let the dust settle in the meantime so I'm not breathing it all in. Using this adhesive um, from Amazon, I'll link it down below, really good gear actually and it's, uh, it's the best price I can find from anywhere even like the industrial suppliers. You buy 10 boxes of the stuff they're not offering it at these prices so get on it while you can it's a fairly new product and it's a good one <laughs> oh <laughs> what are you doing 
get it in the right way around. I need a glue on this one. I'm going to say that's gone really well. So I'll just spend a bit of time uh, making sure them glazing bars are sat nice and square because they've got the ability to rock a little bit and clean all this off. And I can move on and do the other side as well. Get all that glued and screwed together in my own time. I'm not under any stress right now because the door's already held square and everything here is just held together with a screw. And it's a pretty simple glue up. There's very few components. I'm just gonna get the glue nicely on all of them, uh, spread it on the joints, get it together. And I can clean it up in a timely manner using the IPA and the glue hasn't started going off by that point. So it's nice and easy to get it scraped off all them internally painted edges that are really hard for it to be removed like mechanically once the glue is set. You know what? I'm actually really enjoying gluing this frame together because I can take my time a little bit and get it right. Doing it in sections rather than getting glue on everything, speeding through it and trying to make sure everything's right all at once. This is just the dream. Just dry fitted this one together to check all of these joints. It's, it's looking superb. Look at them. Look at it, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'd say hashtag no filler, but there is some filler in it. I uh, dropped something on there and it put a big dent in that piece of wood. Dents are quite difficult to deal with because um, you can try and steam them out, but then you put a load of moisture in the wood around it and it never steams fully out. So then you need to fill a little bit of it and uh, the filler can then be popped out by the wood in time as it naturally sort of shrinks and contracts through uh, like your ambient moisture changes and it will crack and pop the filler out of the wood till it returns to almost like the original size. So if I dent a piece of wood now, I tend to just like drill around it bigger than the bits of wood that is dented and just uh, fill her over it. And that seems to be the best way to deal with them. Better start hustling actually, because she's starting to set. Gotta film these bits going in, they're just so beautiful. Just the perfect fit.
pumps up. That's quite good having them pumps already underneath, ready to go. On the top. Great success! I'm going to take this jacket off actually because I will lean in this glue. Quite happy at the minute. Did I get a the Christmas gift list, I assume I've released it on the channel by now, but um, I've been meaning to do it for about five years. It's one of the first video ideas. And uh, yeah, I've never ever filmed it. Or I tried to, and then by the time I'd edited it, it was gone past Christmas. And so this year, finally done it. It's quite an achievement. And I'd uh, I've obviously been editing it on my computer and uh, I nip onto YouTube and the first video that pops up is uh, Christmas Gift Lifts by Peter Miller. So, <laughs> I've copied someone else's idea, I can't believe it. Oh well, they're all uh, completely different ideas, so it's not the end of the world. Ta-da! It's done! Can't believe it! Finally got the glued up. God, say that. He is a fantastic success. I'm gonna have a bit of a workshop clear up because it's uh, it's come a bomb site trying to get that done while it glues together. And then I can start cleaning the top of it off. And to clean up even an untidy bench like this with the stuff everywhere. Just a dream with that trend air shield because you can just blow the dust off the bench and everything else remains in place and you don't get any dust in your eyes which is the biggest thing it's f fine putting a dust mask on wood is the worst thing to get in your eyes it's just so sore and yeah the, the helmet is just cracking to prevent that There we go, hope you enjoyed the glue up process. Uh, it wasn't too stressful, went really well. And uh, yeah, looking forward to finishing this off. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.